The Hiroshima update? I mean, the Sakurajima update is here. And your pal Zector's gonna tell you about all the new things in it. Timestamps below. Level cap has been raised to level 55 and there's new technology to unlock. There are six new weapons to unlock. That being the grenade launcher, the Gatling gun, the laser rifle, the guided missile launcher, the meteor launcher, and the flamethrower. I don't want to play with you anymore. No. Along with that, there are new saddles for the new rideable pals, an ultimate pal sphere, new glider and shield, a refrigerated food box, a refrigerated crusher that lets you crush more things into paldium fragments, improved frag grenades, three new armor sets, a new building set being glass, larger generators for maximum suckage, coal and sulfur mines let my PETA violations continue, and the pal disassembly station. This machine is probably an animal rights violation. Other things like the PAL dressing facility, which lets you apply skins to your PALs. There's only one right now, that being Catavan with sunglasses. At least he can look cool before no, he no, gets no, chopped no. up. <laughs> they added lockpicks, which let you play a mini game, kind of like Skyrim. I've never played Skyrim. To open chests without keys. Get it together, Roughnecks. There's oil in this update. Management has sent in the new oil extractor to extract new crude oil nodes. But where's the oil? On the new island, of course, which is located to the northwest. The new biomes include the Sakura Forest, Stanky Mushroom Land, and more rocky deserts with pink sand. Along with the new biomes, there's a PvP arena located here, so you can connect and fight other people online. And then the oil rig, a PvE stronghold you can raid for epic endgame loot. There's a hard mode for bosses, which makes them even harder, but it's totally worth it because they drop exclusive hats, which is just removing their scalp and hair and turning it into a taxidermied hat. There are new events like meteorites and supply drops, essentially things dropping from the sky from God knows where. A new random event that lets you steal eggs from monster nests. I was just playing Monster Hunter Stories on livestream, which you should watch now, they're scheduled. Now for the most important part of the update, there are 14 brand new pals and 10 new variants. The new pals and locations are as followed. Celine Dion can be found near fallen meteorites on the new island. Bucky, the Power World community manager, can be found in Stanky Mushroom Land and all these other places. Lulu Lemon can be found in the middle of the new island. Groomer and his cousin Noct can be found in the mushroom biome, day and night respectively. Kit Kat, more like kick it down the stairs, can be found in the north and south of the new island. Sootseer, the wannabe Elden Ring boss, can be found in this small location. Prickster, the two-legged Drapion, can be found up in the north. Knock'em can be knocked down as a roaming boss in this location. Yakimo is throwing up over here in the Sakura Forest. Dogen can be caught reading Dogen over in the Sakura Forest as well. Dezamu, the rejected Kung Fu Panda villain, can be found in the south part of the new island and over here. Mitmog can be found anywhere there's a chest, probably eating Freerun. And Darth Xenovator can be found near the meteorite events. And Xenoguard can also be found near the meteorite events. On to the variants! Grillid Ignis, the warm scarf noodle, can be found in the Sakura Forest. Catrus Ignis can be found randomly in caves, probably fighting Wix and Noct, which also spawns in the caves. The rivalry continues. Quiver and Batan can be found in the middle of the new island. Bussy Noct can be found in the Sakura Forest at night. Hell Zephyr Lux, aka Ghetto Zapdos, can be found in the north part of the new island. Street Fighter was added to Power World with Blaze Mutt Ryu. He's the new raid boss you summon with the summoning altar like Bellahor. Menacing Terra can be found crab raving as an open world boss in the north part of the new island. And finally, they just took Gorat and put him in blackface. There's gonna be a Kotaku article about this, isn't there? Anyway, he can be found in the south part of the new island. There are new passive skills being Philanthropist, which reduces time to get eggs. Impatient, reducing cooldown on active skills. Infinite Stamina, which increases stamina on rideable pals. Noble, giving you an advantage when trading with merchants. And finally, Nocturnal. You can make all your pals work around the clock. They added Bitcoin in the game and Dogecoin, not really. It's a new currency dropped by Mitmog to trade with this guy who likes to hang out near the churches. I would not let your more impressionable pals near this man because he's probably a kidnapper that turns pals into hats. 
and energy drinks. But you can trust me though, I haven't done that on repeat at all. He also sells an item to increase your accessory slot, items to increase your pal's hidden stats, and player stats. Face changes. There's more space in the pal box going from 480 to 960 pals. A more advanced pal box sorting system, thank God. Bases can now be upgraded to level 25 and you can have four bases now. You can now permanently assign a pal to one station using the monitoring station. Now sit there and refrigerate my food. The building system is much smoother now with new building features like axis alignment and defensive walls can connect to each other. There are also pillars to help you with your multi-story buildings, so you don't lose your entire second floor anymore. Player changes! Litmog effigies had their cap increase from 10 to 12. You can also hide your hat now and see your pretty face. Notable balance changes include new pal breeding combinations. With the addition to new pals, a lot of them have changed, so use the website linked in the description. And finally, alpha pals sell for twice as much as regular pals. There's a lot of other balance and small changes in the patch notes, which are also linked below. Watch this video next for more Power World Madness. Subscribe. Bye.